forecast, we've got some cloud cover right now. Most of us are going to be able to get by without seeing much rain into tonight. But temperatures are going to fall upper 40s as we get to 7, 8 o'clock this evening. And we're going to leave those rain chances in mainly to the south of I-20. You can see that 30% coverage for some of our southern counties and to the east of I-35 as well. They actually have some reports of some sleep mixing in for parts of central Texas. I think we're avoiding that. But if you are going to be traveling south, make sure that you're prepared because they have been dealing with a little bit more rain today. Now, tonight we'll have the skies clear out. So tomorrow we've got plenty of sunshine, temperatures warming into the mid 60s. We've got a nice southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour. We are going to start, though, in the upper 30s and low 40s. So dress appropriately for tomorrow morning, but you may be able to get away with the t shirts tomorrow afternoon. 67 on Thursday with mostly sunny skies, and then upper 60s on Friday as well. But Friday, a little bit more cloud cover, more breeze as well. South wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour, and we're waiting for our next cold front to arrive. Now, as we're dealing with dry conditions and warm conditions over the next couple of days, I got to talk to you about. The humidity, the dry air in place, those breezy conditions, we do have that elevated fire danger. I think especially to the west of I-35 over the next couple of days, you notice when the relative humidity kind of gets into that 20% range or less, that's when we're really concerned, especially when you couple that with some breezy conditions, which the wind is going to pick up into Thursday and Friday as well. So here's Thursday afternoon, and you see that humidity around 20 to 21%, especially to the west of I-35, and then into Friday as we we wait for our next cold front to arrive. That's going to be one of the breezier days as well. So please avoid that burning over the next couple of days. And even into this weekend, next cold front moves through. This should be a dry front, but we're going to be left with much uh, cooler conditions still. A breezy north wind for the weekend as well. Saturday, we've got these northwest winds at about 20 to 30 miles an hour. And then into Sunday as well, we should be dry and we've got plenty of sunshine in the forecast, but it is going to be much cooler. Look at Sunday morning. These are wind chills. But we're still dealing with that breeze out of the north. It's probably going to be feeling like the teens once again. So enjoy the warm thoughts now. We have temperatures that are going to be in the mid and upper 60s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then just be prepared to bundle up for the weekend, uh, especially Sunday morning. We've got that low of 28, but those wind chills will likely be in the teens, guys. Yikes. All right.